this preacher down in Atlanta, was it Atlanta? He was preaching. I think, I, I think it was in Atlanta, it doesn't matter. But some dude drove through the church with a car, drove, he was in a car, crashed through the wall like the Kool-Aid man in a car, crashed through the wall, got out the car, chased the preacher, beat him to death with a guitar. With a guitar. Beat his ass to, and we praise the most high for that. <laughs> that's the most, that's the most high, most high showing that he loves us. That was the spirit of Aaron Preston. <laughs> oh yeah. That was Aaron <laughs> he fucked that motherfucker up. Half the car sticking out the church. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, because he survived. It looked like it was a brick wall, too. Right. I it mean, was a brick wall. It looked like he, he drove the car through. Did you see that? No. Nah, he I drove the car that. through they the building the on the and killed the preacher. You know what's telling me? That's not the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. All kind of preachers been getting killed lately. Yeah. I'm hearing all kind of stories about preachers getting murdered. Because the Lord's bringing that vengeance on you damn devils. It struck yeah, home close seen, to, uh, uh, it struck real close to uh, home at uh, oh, Bible just, just Church. Remember that one video we seen back in the day was like, God loves everybody here, pow, pow, pow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they were singing, <laughs> and they started shooting to the beat. <laughs> the video got thousands of views, too. Probably millions by now. So the Lord pouring out of that spirit of destruction. Yeah. That's why New Jersey just got fucked up. This guy, they got, they got, they got, they got just, this guy flooded. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. That's just a little sample. That's just a small sample. There's gonna be more and more destruction. Even so, every good tree bringing forth good fruit. I, yeah, actually, y'all gonna be when the missiles start launching and everything's on fire, you gonna pray there was a flood on that day, man. You gonna pray you could be like New Jersey with all that water. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be real hot. Yeah, them, them missiles gonna dry up all the time. Yeah, yeah, when the missiles start dropping, yeah, you gonna pray it was a flood. It's like, oh, shit. Ain't no escaping that fire. Ain't no escaping those missiles. But a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no rescue helicopter coming down and saving you out of the missile fire. Hey, yeah, ain't, ain't no, yeah, ain't no, ain't no FEMA coming down. Hey, ain't no, FEMA ain't gonna save you no way. Right. Even in a regular, FEMA gonna throw you in a concentration camp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, FEMA wasn't even designed to save nobody. FEMA like, uh, spar the Lion King, like, help. <laughs> and we don't we don't even know what's going on for real over there uh, like in New Jersey where that shit's flooded. We don't know what's that's, that's the death toll. The, yeah, they say them levees busted up. The death toll is probably way higher than what they're telling you. You know, there's probably bitches getting raped. And all kind of loot and robbery. Fire, 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 set up And I bet and none of you bitches over there that got flooded and your home got destroyed, your house got carried off in the ocean. I bet you ain't running your mouth to your husband now, are you, you bitch? There you go. You know, I, I put out prayers to the brothers, you know, that's in, down there, you know, teaching the truth, man. Oh, yeah. That they are right, man, but I'm well, sure the most high looks well, out Of course he them. delivered it. Yeah. Of course. That's right. I, especially these bitches. I just, I just wish, you know, I they, just pray, I'm so jealous. I pray I can see the look on a bitch's face when her house float in the ocean. Yeah, we hope disasters happen here in Columbus. Man, I just, I, huh? The Bible. We're teaching the Bible. Well, we are the Israelites. We're the real Israelites. Them Jews over there in the state of Israel are a bunch of devils. Imposters. And they're going to go straight into slavery. They're going to be our slaves. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your proof of it? Right here. In the Bible. The scriptures. Come out here and talk. Go yes. park. Go park. Go go park. And come talk to us. <laughs> it looks like he's about to grab a gun. <laughs> A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Oh no, yeah, like them Jews over there in Israel. That's not a good. That's not a good plant. There ain't no fruit even grow on that plant. They, they got an import shit. Yeah, that's all. That's a. We talking about a withered tree. But you, you see that Edomite bitch when he's walking up here on the way up here? Bitch look like a shriveled up raisin. <laughs> Obama, that's a corrupt tree. Everybody talking about some goddamn Obama or some motherfucking Mitt Romney. Oh, man, don't even come over here with that shit, man. Trying to, trying to, oh, who you voting for? Motherfucker, fuck, we don't fuck that voting shit. We don't give a damn about no president, no presidential candidates. They both gonna be, they both devils. Man, we gonna go vote for a devil. 
Go, 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 red yeah, boat. Boat, yeah, devil one to vote for a devil two. Oh, I can vote, yeah. Because <laughs> Barack Obama's a homosexual and Mitt Romney's a homosexual. They're both faggots. So, both <laughs> the fuck we look like voting? You know, I heard some simple motherfuckers say we gotta vote for the lesser of the two evils. Yeah, they both evil. Hey, well, well first of all, people. your vote don't even count. They showed you that when Bush was in office. The, the, the people don't even elect the president. The Electoral College elects the president. That's a fact. Well, That's remember, a fact. Remember that year with Al Gore and Bud? I'm just thinking if Al Gore and I got in, I'm the global warming president. Oh, but actually, Al Gore won the popular vote. Yeah. The more people actually voted for Al Gore, but he still lost. That tells you it's all bullshit. And it goes to say, because most of the people wanted Al Gore, that goes to show you how dumb they is. Like, fucking Al Gore is a dumbass. Yeah. Actually, y'all lucky y'all ain't get Al Gore. <laughs> if Al Gore would have got elected, we probably would have been had a chip already. Yeah. You're paying taxes on air. Most high had to slow it down. They keep arresting that Greenpeace president, bitch. Uh, they arrested her again in Texas. They, they, they should punch that. They should have. Man, they, they should Man, yeah. Uh, what's that word? That's a boy. He looks like he about to start doing one of them Hindu numbers. I ain't allowed it, Nadia. You know, you know, in the Bollywood movies? Uh, yeah. And a lot of them be Israelites though down there. Serious. <laughs> Halloween is over. <laughs> 300 and over. And Every tree. And I bet they are. I bet that's their girlfriends. Every tree that bringeth not Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tweedledick. <laughs> <laughs> Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. That's all these false prophets out here. They're going to be hewed down. Like your boy Steven Anderson stealing <laughs> scriptures from us. Yeah, we was watching your videos, Steve. He's butchering the scriptures. I know you watching our videos, Got stealing it. all the scriptures. Yeah, then he do a video about us. Man, nah, he won't name us, bitch. He, man, we was watching. He watching didn't name names like we named names. Yeah. Us. Hey, man, he started, he used all of our scriptures. I'll be honest, I comment on almost every last one of his video terrorizing him. But I don't know why. It's just a, certain people is like fun for me to pick on. I don't know why. It's the most I just put that spirit on me to mess with certain people. Jesus. Caesar, what's up, Caesar? What's up, Caesar? What's up, Caesar? What up, Caesar? That's, that's, that's Rothschild. Jesser, Jesser, who's you? It's David Rothschild. <laughs> <laughs> out here front uh, like he's a prince. It's out here front like he's a meek. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, we all these faggot ass preachers out here in these churches, man. You know that goes for the people that's in the church too, man. And it, it, yeah, because yeah, because they think if they don't say any cuss words, they're going to heaven. <laughs> I'm like, no, because they they say if you, if you don't have sex, you don't say cuss words, you don't drink, you're going to heaven. <laughs> Man, what kind of madness is that? Like, well, like we know more scriptures than all these preachers combined. Here it is. You say, uh, Yahweh Shah, Christ drank. Like, oh, he didn't drink like that. <laughs> like, well, damn, how the fuck did he drink then? He just took a sip while I'm done. Right. Like, you misinterpreted in that, brother. <laughs> when it said he drank, it, it, it meant he drank the Holy Spirit. <laughs> they just mad. Oh, they it. say calling him a wine giver. Yeah. Oh, they call him just like you call him up for the drunk. They, you know, that's how they called him back then. But that's what I'm saying. That's why these churches, they turned the, they turned the truth into a lie. Well, they actually, they try, they don't do that. They turn a lie into a truth. <laughs> or I don't know what they do. They just, tw they telling them a lie. Truth into truth. Uh, well, they, they trying to say a lie is the truth, but it's not. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Goes back to the but now, yeah, these, these, these churches got people so messed up. Yeah, that's why people don't believe anything we say because they've been taught so many lies over all the years. Because they, they grandma passed the lies down to, from her grandma. And they've been passing lies down for generations and generations. And that's why we got all messed up. And now we don't even know that we Israelites no more. Well, all them generations and them lies and the slavery and, and all this shit combined together, we don't, our people don't forgot they was Israelites. They don't even know the Ten Commandments. They don't even know that. Well, yeah, a lot of people don't even know who Moses is. They said the Israelites died off in the Old Testament. Who's all a lot of people. A lot of people they ain't never even heard of an Israelite. They be like, what's that? It was all the first Moses. Then Moses did. That's part of the curse. Breaking the laws in the Bible. 
Yeah, because your grandma ain't going to tell you that you're an Israelite. She's going to say, no, baby, you're a Gentile, okay? Jesus loves you. You're, you're not God's chosen. You're a Gentile. But Jesus loves you, baby. <laughs> like, what kind of fucked up shit is that to tell somebody? There that someone believes in the Most High with all their heart, and you're going to call him a Gentile? You need destroyed for that. Okay, 13 and 4. Is Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus? Spake Jesus unto the multitude in a parable. Big bird. <laughs> Santa and Claus. In a parable spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Yes, yeah, so a lot of things have been secret. That's why people can't understand Israel being scattered among all nations. Or that there is. Or they Israelite. It, a lot of people that. They hate that name Israel. They like they cast that name back at you. Just like they hate the name. When we tell people that uh, Jesus' real name is Yahweh Shai, they get mad and they, they act like that, you know what I'm saying? That like that name is filthy or something. They throw it back. And they're ashamed of it. You know you what I'm saying? Say Israel, they they think about the place or the Jews. Yeah, because they've been taught so many lies. But the scripture said that I'm a uh, he said, I'm going to give you uh, pastors after my own heart. So that's why we're out here. So that's, why, that's why we're cursing motherfuckers out to come against us. Yeah, I hope that one people come up here and debate. That's why, well, that's why we, uh... Did they? Oh, man. I, I have to get my hopes up. I thought the most high the world. Send us a little punching bag out here. Okay. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of the man. So, oh, well, what, oh, go ahead. Well, I was about, about, to, go I was about ahead. to say, if Christ wanted to tell everybody the truth, why he didn't just tell them the parable out there? He waited till they got back. Yeah, because he spoke them in parables to begin with. It's not he, for everybody it, to get. It's not for everybody to get. That proof, it says, the, 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 the tares, the tares, the truth ain't for no tares, that's for damn sure. Right. Scripture say a tear is gonna get burned up in the fire. Oh, you know, there you go. That's the spirit. Revelation 9 and um, no tear right there. In 15. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day, and a month and a year, for to slay the third part of men. I ain't gonna no so well, but God doesn't kill. You know how stupid that sounds, man. So who, who who created? If God doesn't kill, who who created death? Explain that one. Yeah. That's how stupid people are, man. That's how fucking stupid people are. They always want to give all praises to Satan. They, they want to say Satan causes death. No, the Lord causes death. The Lord causes pain. Those high cosines. Oh, Satan. Satan. Yeah. Right. He gives Satan orders. Satan follows orders. Like when your little baby, little baby died four years old, that was the most high that killed your baby. That's right, the heavenly father. You got people out here giving praises to Satan. Heavenly father. Saying Satan's responsible for for all your miseries. No, that's the most high messing you up. I was watching this show called American uh, Horror Story. Come on, uh, FX, but uh, it was an it's about this this house with the nuns. They be fucking people up, but this. This dude was a demon, and the bitch was trying to cast him out. And dude was like, nah, ain't no woman supposed to be in here. But she tried to uh, sneak back in there. And the demon was like, the most high ain't dealing with you. He's like, that's why your pussy stink. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that's why you've been a whore your whole life. Now you're trying to get back with God. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what is that? <laughs> it's uh, American, uh, America, 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 the de the, actually, the, de cause the demons work for the Most High. The Most High sent them demons out on missions. You know what I'm saying? Because the demons fear the Lord. You read the gospel, the demons, they fear the Lord. And then when the Lord gave the demons a commandment, oh, the yeah. demons obeyed him. Where, where's that? Where the, well, where the, the demons are saying to the motherfuckers that are. Uh, well, it's a mark that's one of them. It's all through the God. You know, the demons said to the demons, Lord Paul I know, and your how shy I know. Yeah, but you, but you know. Yeah. there you go, there you go. Yeah. Yep. He was a lame. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He was a lame for real. <laughs> oh, that was a bar Jesus. Was that bar that's Jesus? That's it, that's it. That's, that's bad, man. That's, that's bad, ass. man. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. But actually, people don't believe in demons, but them spirits was out last night on Halloween, boy. Sure they out today, too. Felt like I had demons looking through my window. I was cursing them out. <laughs> 
And everybody, they, they had that ritual going on last night. But like, like he said too though, a lot of people ain't trick or treating no more. Cause this truth is starting to get out there, you know what I mean? A lot of people, they starting to realize at least that the Halloween's wicked. Cause that's, that's like something that's common sense. You know what I mean? That's something you can act, you know, even a dumbass can realize that one. So a lot of people, they, they start, a lot of people stopping to celebrate Halloween. Oh, go ahead. That's right. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came in unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. Yes, the children, the children of Satan. That started with Esau. Because Esau, that's the children of Satan. So that cuts everybody can't make it. But then you got spiritual terrorists too, because uh, a lot of Israelites are spiritually terrorists. Because mm -hmm. they're far from the Lord. Two thirds. Two thirds. Uh, two thirtyites. Yeah, because they they're all going to meet the same fate, and that's they're going to eat missiles. They're going to get their share of that lake of fire. They're going to eat motherfucking <laughs> missiles. No, they get to go sunbathing in a lake of fire. And yeah, Lord willing, they get tortured before they eat the missiles. Oh, man, that's the beauty. Yeah, it, it's not, oh. Oh, dude, a lot of y'all, man, y'all just ain't gonna just eat missiles. A lot of y'all gotta. You got some pain with those yeah, yeah, you got hell to pay for. You got some pain. You got to pay for your wickedness. And then a lot of the, the elite, they're not gonna eat no missiles. They're just gonna go into slavery. It's like worse food. Eat, yeah. <laughs> All the kings of the earth and the rulers of the earth, they're going into slavery. Okay, dude, we're gonna spare them. But they got, they got a, death is too easy. They got a VIP. Psalms 149. Right, they got the VIP treatment. Psalms 149. Psalms 149. Yeah. That's, I love that script. Let me get it real quick. I get it. That's, that's that, that's that righteous oh, you got it, bro. And you got to read that one loud, too. Like, that's a script, that's one of them scriptures that you're not allowed to read softly. You have to, you have to belt it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. The certain scriptures, man, don't even sound right when you read it all low. You got to blast them. Like, like a trunk. That's actually that scripture tells you to uh, just sing aloud. Psalms 149. One. Praise ye the Lord. Sing it to the Lord a new song. So that's that new song because everybody's saying, well, it's like I never heard y'all anybody say that before what y'all said. It's like how come y'all the only ones are saying that? Well, we singing that new song. That's why it seems unfamiliar to you. But if you part of the elect, you're already going to know that song. It's built into your spirit. Keep going. And it's praising the congregation of saints. So that, that's why it's a scripture too that says that we have piped, I mean, we played the song, but ye have not danced. You know that scripture? We have piped, but ye have not danced. But, but if you like this song, you're going to start dancing to it. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. So yeah, we the children of Zion. We're the children of Israel. That's who we are. He go and we out here to praise the Lord. Let them praise his name and dance. What's the, what's the Lord's name? The Lord's name's Yahweh. The son of God's name's Yahweh Shai. Keep going. That's ancient Hebrew. Keep going. Let them sing praises unto him with the... the Tremble? The, oh, oh, the, the tremble. What? Tremble. Oh, the timbre. Yeah, the timbre on heart. Oh, that's a musical instrument, yeah. Tremble. Tremble. That's probably because I gotta look it up. Yeah, yeah actually, that's a good idea. Look that one up in Hebrew to see what instrument that is. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Yeah, so the Lord, he takes pleasure in his people. Who's the Lord's people? The Lord's people, the Israelites. That's us, we're the Israelites. Like Romans 8 and 14 says, we're the sons of God. That's us, keep going. He will, he will, he will beautiful the meat for salvation. Yes sir, he will beautify the meat for salvation. Yeah, because the Lord said, blessed are the meek of the earth. Keep going. And we're, we're the meek. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let the saints be joyful in glory. 
Let them sing a loud upon their bed. So that's why we're gonna sing aloud. What we gonna sing? We are gonna sing these scriptures. Keep going. To execute, to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Oh, oh yeah. And, no, keep going. And punishment upon the people. So, to, keep going. To bend the kings with chains. To bend their kings with chains. So much noise out here. And their noble ones with fetters of iron. So the Bible said that when the Lord gives us that power, that we're going to put chains on all the kings and the rulers of the earth, and they all going to go to slavery. All the elite that control the planet Earth, all, all the most powerful, most rich men, they all going to go into slavery. We're going to put chains on their feet, and they're going to go into slavery. And then we're going to rule the earth. And we're going to rule the earth under the Lord. Hey, you're a liar. You're the devil. You're a you got to be a troll. Man, look, you, look, you, look, you, look, you look like an orc off of Lord of the Rings. You look like, like, uh, you look like Sling Blade. You look like a zombie, you motherfucker. Like home, Sling Blade. Where's your precious at? You look like Gollum. My precious! My precious! <laughs> goddamn gargoyle. Look at yeah, you. You look a damn gargoyle. Four stuff's dead. <laughs> what is that? whore. <laughs> hey, he wasn't ready for us to clown on him like that. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna come up talking shit to us, man. Because we talk shit back. Right. We ain't like the little faggot ass Christians you right. see in these churches. Man. Yeah, man, we don't play that shit. You liar. Oh, he's still talking yeah, shit. We don't let you talk bad about the Lord. We ain't gonna stand for it. Alright? We, we ain't gonna stand for a bunch of blasphemers. You goddamn faggots and heathens, man. We ain't with that. <laughs> we, we gonna let y'all know. <laughs> so we gonna let y'all know the Lord is running shit, okay? Because you know people see people they, they see someone teaching the Bible and they think they can get away with whatever they They're like. Yeah, people. faggot. Man, yeah, get out of here with that weak spirit, man. The scriptures say to put off that weak nature. I'll say, you got to put off that weak nature. You got to be bold as a lion with dealing with these fools, man. Up thy loins and be a man. If someone comes up here acting like a fool, you curse their asses out, man. I'm going to play that shit. Oh, go ahead. My fault. Uh, Psalms 149 and 9. To execute upon them the judgment written. So what, what was written? What's the judgment written? The judgment was slavery. Like the Bible said, he that leadeth into the captivity is going to go into captivity. North High Street, to mound and high. So that's the golden rule. So if you like somebody that owns slaves, you descend from uh, slave owners. Like a lot of these rich white people, the only reason they got money is because their forefathers owned slaves. Because they can... They got old money. They've been passing that money down for generations and generations. Money that you're right. Too much money. A whole bunch of these Like, ain't nobody in my family ever had money. And none of these brothers, no, no, nobody, we don't, we don't descend from wealthy people, okay? But all these rich devils, they're going into slavery because they got their riches through thievery and through robbery and through deceit. So that's why they're going to get everything took. They send their little, real little rich kids to these little colleges. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody in my family ever been to college. Are you serious? <laughs> Some fucking college? Hell yeah, you're dreaming. You better get a job. That's what they tell us. Get a job. It's college. Get the fuck out the house. You better join the military. There ain't no fucking college. I don't know anybody on the whole south side that went to college. <laughs> they went to the coffin. Like, don't be a menace, but it feels like I got a to get killed. Yeah, ain't none of my friends I grew up went, went to college. You know where they went to? They went to being a drug addict. Or, or, or to jail. Yeah, they went to jail. Oh, they got their GED and diploma up in prison. <laughs> 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 they always come out of prison. I'm certified and got, goddamn, you got more certifications than me. <laughs> I ain't fuck, I gotta go to prison. I gotta get certified or something. <laughs> Maybe if I get locked up, I can finally get certified. <laughs> God damn. So yeah, ain't nobody on the whole south side ever been to college. I don't think that one person. <laughs> I'm for you name one. I can name about 20. 
Oh yeah, they all got they all losers. They probably <laughs> dropped dead, overdosed. They probably went to Columbus State, you know what I'm saying? They went to Columbus State. <laughs> I'm pro, man. None of my friends, all my friends were losers. They all, they all fucking, half my friends are dead. Like, you, you know, you used to go, like, back in high school, you used to look at everybody, all the people in high school used to be, like, kind of jealous of the, like, the popular kids. But look at them now, where are they at now? They're all, all the bitches are fat. All the dudes are fucking stupid as hell. Oh, he'd have the dead. Playing Madden all day. Yeah. Bitches looking hit in the face. Bitch got fuck. You know the hot the, the prom queen got five motherfucking kids. <laughs> Bitch fat as hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the foot the main football star of the team, he's a piece of shit. He's an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he blew his knee out. He ain't never made it to the pros. Now he's trying to force his child to be a football star. You know what I'm saying? So his little kid tears his ACL when he's 10 years old. I saw him, uh, I saw on the internet motherfuckers that uh, involved in the football league, little leagues. Yeah. Uh, you know, he got, they got the little leagues dressing up just like these faggot ass pro players with pink socks on, <laughs> pink shoes, Wearing motherfuckers pink, pink, pink shirts. They don't even match the, excuse, the team uniform. Well, my motherfucking Kanye West walk around with a purse. <laughs> like a straight faggot, man. A fucking man purse. Pink with some tight ass fucking pants on. What's up with that new fad? Everybody wearing some tight pants. Like who can wear some tight ass fucking pants? Oh, squeezing up on your shit, man. Cutting off your shirt. God damn. They want they used to wear all these tight pants that when they they can't run for already lock them up in the concentration camp. Yeah, hey, Ain't nobody even messing with us today. Where's your strip? Do a backflip. Y'all wanna see some bunny hopping over a car? Yeah, I used to have skills on our bike. Used to, yeah, me too. I can't do nothing on my knees and that stuff. I bet he can't even dunk. <laughs> Ash and Cooster look alike. That's how he is. He saw he's six foot eleven, still can't yeah, dunk. That's, that's how he was back in the day. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you that one. You got any scripts you want to get? I got some scripts for those. I got a, I got a whole list of scripts. I can't see. I can't see. I got a whole list. So. Hey, get my, uh, you ain't got no, get John 12 and 15. Uh, Here you call out a Bible scripture, he did, like, I'm right John 12 and 25. Oh, he got it, he got it. John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. So that's what the problem with these people, man. All they care about is pleasing themselves and pleasing their physical body. Like all, you know, like most, look at the women. All, there's an epidemic of fat bitches in America. All these women, they weigh like uh, two, three hundred pounds. Three hundred and over. You know what I'm saying? That's because all they care about is pleasure in their body. That's like, they just keep eating and eating and eating until they look like damn job of the hut. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not eating, if people ain't addicted to food, they're addicted to drugs, they're addicted to pharmaceuticals. You know what I'm saying? They, a bitch is sniffing cocaine all day. Crushing up pills, sniffing pills. Yeah, we know how y'all get down. Like, we don't know y'all sniffing pills, man. Like, we don't live in the hood. Like, we know shit, okay? We know how shit is. We know, we, we some people, they stick pills up their ass. They, they, they got so addicted on pills, they can't get high no more, so they stick them up their ass. They shoot it up. Yeah, some people shoot them up. They shoot the pills up, they sniff them. They that's, do. What, that's where butt chugging comes from. Oh yeah, people butt chugging. They learned that shit out of the hospital. Yeah, that's popular on campus. They, Cause back in the day, people used to do the cake stands. Now they took it to another level. Instead of doing the cake stand, they just uh, pour the alcohol right into Putting their ass. Putting gerbils up their ass. Using like a turkey baster. It's all in the news, man. People get messed up from uh, butt chugging. Yeah, alcohol pour. But that goes all back to pleasing your physical body. 
Yeah. Something I come to find out too, man. They said that's the faster way to get drunk. You can't please the flesh. I'll tell you that straight up. It's you not gonna never, happen. Never, yep, yep. It can't. It ain't gonna happen. Okay. It's like a hill. The hell, the, going up here. damn the flesh. That's what I say. Damn the flesh. Like Job said, he cursed the day he was born. And Paul, Paul, Paul said his flesh was wicked. What, what's that? Romans the seventh chapter. Wait, we should look at Paul speaks to him. Yeah. Cause yeah, this flesh is wicked, man. Drop. Twelve and twenty-four. Oh, now, what was twenty-five? John, twelve and twenty-five. He that loves his life shall lose it. Cause yeah, a lot of people are always afraid to die too. Cause a lot of people they won't teach cause they're afraid they get hurt. Cause they more worried about themselves, or they are afraid that they are gonna lose their wife. So to help, if your wife wanna leave you cause you're teaching a wife, let her leave. Fuck that hoe. That means that means that you don't need to be with her anyway. You want a down bitch. Yeah, you want a bitch that's down with you, man. You want a bitch that follows orders and does what you say. Like the ideal woman is a woman that does every last thing you say. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna guess a fantasy. These women don't. These women are stubborn and they're uh, they're undisciplined. They're, they're disobedient. They're disobedient children. Uh, go ahead, keep going on that. And he that right. hated his life, and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it to life eternal. Oh yeah, people always talk about, oh, I'm going I'm to be a doctor and a lawyer. Well, everybody tell me they're going to be a lawyer. How many damn lawyers do they need? You know what I'm saying? But everybody, all they care about is getting money, being famous. Now, now everybody in America think they're going to be famous. Everybody think they're going to be a rap star, going to be a rock star. First of all, to be a famous actor, you gotta be a Jew. All, all the all, damn near all, all the famous people in Hollywood are so-called Jews who are not the real Jews, but they're the synagogue of Satan. All, all the directors in Hollywood are all Jews, fake Jew devils. So y'all dreaming? You think you'll be an actor? You're dreaming. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be a famous. You're dreaming. That's that dream they give to you to keep you asleep. You know? And if you if you do get famous, you gotta bend over, suck a dick. You gotta do some faggot shit. Like like I hear uh, Matthew McConaughey, they say he's a big faggot. He sucks all kind of cock. You name, name an actor, he's a faggot. John Travolta is a faggot. Eddie Murphy. Sylvester Stallone did gay porn. Yeah, yeah Eddie Murphy. Everybody been on he's a faggot. John Claude Van Damme was a yeah, faggot. Eddie Murphy got caught with a transvestite. Yeah, or he got pulled over by the cops being something. That one actor from that show Friends, he got caught with a transvestite. Four in the morning riding around with a transvestite. Yeah. So all them actors are homosexuals. If you're not sucking the dick, you're not going to get the job. Same thing with a woman. Everybody knows all the actresses. They get the, they get the part by sucking a the dick. They don't care if you can act. Have you watched a movie lately? <laughs> There's not good acting in the movies. The women and the men both get the job by sucking dick. That's a fact. You can't debate it. I'll oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, sucking a giddish dick. Why you sucking a dick while they sitting on the toilet? Some car, some Kazarian cop. That's yeah, and all you Jews out there, you're going straight into slavery. All them, them so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. They're a bunch of devil worshippers and antichrists. They try to say that the one, they try to say Jesus ain't, ain't the Messiah. So you know they're gonna be destroyed and they're gonna right into slavery. They still waiting on their Messiah. Well, you know I gotta say Jesus, so the people they know what I'm talking about. The Lord's real name is your house shop. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, bring that out. Okay. Romans 7 and 34. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of your house shy, that ye should be married to another, even to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto the Most High. That's what we are here doing, bringing out fruit. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins which were by the law did work in our yeah, members. Yeah, because before we was in this truth, we was in the flesh. We ain't in the flesh, now we in the spirit. Cause we don't give a damn about this body no more. We don't care about pleasing this flesh no more. Keep going. There you go, that's right. 
the motions of sins which were by the yeah, law. Yeah, because before we used to chase around these old stinking ass bitches. I mean, we still, you know, mess with some women. But man, these bitches, man, they're disgusting. They're polluted, they, their pussy stinks. So now we, we concentrate on, this is our number one priority. This is it now. right here. Okay, we ain't worried about no damn football or playing no damn Madden and none of this other dumb shit. Oh, 